Because what is the biggest problem in county today? Our biggest problem in county, I believe to tell you, and I will say without winking, there is a lot of pilferage. People have really stolen left, right, and people have misused the resources. That is why the resources are never enough. There is also issue of what we call, uh, I'll go straight to problem, is that uh, when we came in, and that is a problem even today, is the wage bill. Our wage bill is too huge. You know, there are thresholds that are clearly defined by the Constitution and by the PFM. We, we spend almost 50% on wages. Well, it is very clear that we are supposed to spend not more than 35. So that has caused us a lot of problem. And now plus theft of scarce revenue. When those things meet at the, at the middle, you know the repercussion. The repercussion is that we have shortage. And that has also cropped what we can call pending bills. Pending bills. And those pending bills, it means even to service provider and the suppliers and even to our workers. So that is what we have not been able to balance. But uh, we have adhered properly to the PFM because we are the custodian of the PFM. And uh, I would like to also to introduce and say finance really matters and how it is managed. But uh, there have been also issue of uh, the poor administration. For the department, we have, uh, I'll say some of the challenges that we have are gaps in staffing. Like I've said, we are missing kit personnel, like the director survey. We are also missing uh, director uh, valuation. We don't have uh, other key staff that needs to be filled. We have had that discussion with the county public uh, service board, and we hope they are doing something about it. Another issue is the staff allowances. Your Excellency, we have uh, approximately, approximately 23 million in outstanding for staff allowances. And uh, <clears throat> as you imagine, our work involves a lot of large issues and working in the ground. There are projects that were done last year. We have issued titles in those areas, like uh, uh, in, um, in Roiro, recently we issued uh, about 800 titles. We also did about uh, 6,000 titles in the year. The staff who are working on those projects have not been paid. And they worked day and night clearing and covering every inch of those counties to make sure that they collect the collect data before we issue the titles. Uh, budgetary constraints, we have a lot of programs that are outstanding. The county spatial plan has not been finalized. We need to operationalize the municipalities. We have committees in the department that have been meeting that have not been paid the allowances, including the boards, uh, the municipal boards, we have not paid the allowances for quite a while. And I think uh, this is one of the areas we would request support to be able to be efficient, including creation and development of the governor's residence and the deputy governor's residence. Those are outstanding because of uh, budgetary constraints. We need a customer service. We serve a lot of people on a daily basis, and we need uh, an effective customer service. We discriminated as a department. Really, really discriminated. Now, Governor Ray Dr. Ray Dr. Ray Dr. Ray Dr. Kwasababu, e-department, our core mandate is extension. But how do you do extension? There are no motorcycles. There are no vehicles. There is no facilitation. I'm even ashamed to call my staff to ask them to go and uh, inspect meat. How do you... We have the mandate of inspecting meat. Nakira mtu hapa nakura nyama. Sindio? It's our staff who go and inspect that meat. Lakini hawana gari. Pese hote iko finance. Ukipiga simu finance. Watu wetu wapewe pesa. Sidhani hata wanakuwaga na simu juwa zingi yagi. Governor, please do something. You have to default money. Pesa lasima itoke finance, igia department. Kwa sababu, kazi ni yawa wanafanya, siyo kwa watu ya finance. Ha? Nisizi tunaenda kuinspect nyama, na hiyo nyama inalipua. Fertinaria naangalia, mutu wa finance anachukua pesa. Harafu yu fertinari, hapatui pesa. Ya piki piki na bordana, hata hiyo sampi ya kupiga nyama. So governor, please do something.
and all these challenges have been caused by having one super department of finance. We should be equal. You know, sometimes I'm ashamed to create a Maori. Maybe kuna kamchango. Unaona wale watu wa finance directors wanatoa 20,000. Chief officer anatoa elfu mbili mimi. You know? And it should be the other way around. Kwa hivyo governor, please, tuangarie. Ustroe tunaridhore ya data wadhari. The challenge, Your Excellency, I would like to talk about is uh, this staff of us, particularly the environment people, they work in hard uh, areas and I have been moving around to see them. Uh, they sometimes, uh, their conditions of working are quite wanting and they are considered, they are not considered like the others. I know we have health department where they have uh, strenuous allowances. I think you need to consider that, Your Excellency, because they work even over the weekend, and they are the people who provide services to these people. Uh, the other thing, Your Excellency, uh, I love them, but they're also affected by issue of, of depression. I've found that, uh, and I work in the county, a lot of beer, pombe wanakura sana wengi. And it's not only our people, there's a problem, Your Excellency, and we need to think about that. A lot, a lot in terms of staff depression. The other thing that I have found, and it's clear, that our people, uh, we inherited a lot from the default uh, municipal councils, and a lot of them, they have exceeded the department, and therefore we have few staffs. And when they come to the press, instead of bringing people to the department, they are taken to the other department. I think we need to realize that, Your Excellency. I've walked aloud and I've seen that. The other thing I have worked, and some of them, they don't have offices. And we need to think about the, the uh, what we call environmental officers, uh, the sub county officers, so they don't have offices. And for us to help you, Governor, to achieve your mandate, we will need to professionalize Kiambu County. You find a director does not have an AI authority to incur. So they don't work, they don't have books, they don't have pens. I think this is a high time we look at that. We rationalize and we give them materials to work. Finally, Your Excellency, um, they will also need to be seeing you more often. Uh, we may need such occasions to come and tell you what we need and how you can also solve that. Uh, well, you, with, with your support, we are able to start those services. We would like to have renal services in most of our level four hospitals. Current renal services are only offered in Katondo and Vika and Sabotimare, only about uh, uh, 10 beds that work. We have good infrastructure in Wangige and we have space for Reno. We have the same in Tigone. Gidhunguri is also coming up. So we really would uh, request for your great support, Your Excellency, towards improving service. All this you also need to improve increment of our revenue. With the study shown, and it has been implemented in some other counties, is that uh, the level four and five hospitals in our county, according to our 2022-23 uh, budget, we can be able to raise over 1.4 billion. And this, when invested back into the hospitals in terms of service, Kiabu County might even reach a point where the exchequer will not be our source of, of uh, revenue. The facility improvement fund, Your Excellency, started on the uh, 11th of February of this year. And with that, we have seen a lot of change in our level four and five hospitals. If the, we have NHIF, even at dispensary or health center level, there will be a payment through NHIF. And that, fund, that money will be used to be reinvested in that uh, facility. Kiabu has the potential of becoming a county of uh, uh, medical tourism. We have pending bills, quite a lot of heavy load in county uh, pending bills, which has resulted into apathy of our contractors. So these days we float tenders and our contractors no longer want to do business with the county. So it's a big issue for us because that derails our service delivery. We are also uh, faced with uh, a challenge of the budget. When we look at the road network for Kiambu, we have about 8,000 kilometers. 
and out of that 6,000 are directly under the county responsibility. And, and it is a, a tall order to maintain that road network if you don't have sufficient budget. So, so we need to work out how to manage that. We have a few other small, smaller challenges, like our uh, team, our engineers are no longer mobile. So you have a, a sub-county and you cannot move from one area to the other. Some of them have reverted into using motorbikes and, and walking. So it's a bit of a challenge. The thing is lack of mobility for our staff. And when I talk about this, I'm talking about the extension staff. Uh, we can all imagine that our staff, in the number of about 200 technical staff, have to reach about 400,000 farmers. And that requires mobility. Uh, I'm sure uh, with your guidance and vision, we should be able to overcome this problem. Uh, the other one, which you may be able to realize, and this is uh, natural, is the rearrangement of the rainy seasons to our calendar of the financial, uh, of the financial budget. There's quite a big uh, mismatch because like now we are heading to October, we are supposed to be giving uh, input to farmers, but you can see our budget is not yet actualized. So that's something I think we need to sit down and see how to rearrange so that we overcome that problem. Uh, the other one, uh, Your Excellency, uh, and this, I don't know how to put it, but I think the other challenge is uh, aging workforce. If I start with my chief officer, you can see he's already has gray hair, Dr. Kamundia, so <laughs> on a right touch. But uh, we have a problem of aging workforce such that the staff that you see seated here will be, 80% of them will be retiring within the next three years. So we have uh, what we call a succession gap, and I hope we'll be able to address that. Uh, the other thing, Your Excellency, is the issue of data. And I think we need to digitize so that each value chain in Kiambu, be it dairy, coffee, we don't have actual data of the key uh, players. And I think that is something we need to work on so that at a click of a button, we're able to tell the status of the several value chains that we have in, in our county. Sure you are aware you've had. So, Without taking uh, any more, I want quickly just to introduce uh, together. I don't know whether you have another mic or I just go through very quick. I think I know everybody. We have uh, Waziri Kireko, Eric Kireko, Youth, Sports and Communications with the tree. I don't know that it was purposeful. Uh, cooperatives. He's with his people behind a tree. Thank you. Uh, you can remain seated. Then we have uh, uh, finance. We have Waziri Mboro Kangede Wilson and then William City Finance. What were finance? Atakashus, wherever you are. You can wave. Mr. Kuria. Then we have Kamundia. Santisana. What were agriculture? Asante Nisana, environment, water. We also have the director who is there. Oh, he, was, he had an exercise area today. The officer Gekonyo, uh, you can wave. The camera, people are blocking me. I can't see. We have education, uh, Waziri Mary. Then we have Chief Officer Karanja. Anybody else? Hey. We are also behind a tree, almost behind. We have roads, uh, transport, public works, and utilities uh, from the six sub counties of uh, Kiambu West. That is uh, Gedongori, Lari, Rimuru. Gedongori also is there. So, Governor, this is the team, and I want to thank them for taking the shortest uh, request. And uh, I want to stop there. Uh, you'll be given. Two minutes, you decide whether you want to speak with your CEO, the CEC, we are not asked. And you did not say stand that I see you, so anyway, I want to make my apologies, and I think I have a vendetta. And maybe also, because I think, uh, Governor, it's good also to introduce, I know we work with your secretariat, and uh, people say... Sorry, sorry. Gilungori Mpapa. Oleni pia karibu ni wasahau. Asanteni sana. So, Wazir, just uh, as a guide, when you come, it's important to mention the number of workers in your department. I think it's very good, uh, quite fast. Thank you. But as a diplomat, you cannot afford to say, not to say.
Pinky Ponke, Pinky Ponke. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Kamudia, you will, you, will, you will have to do another day. So let's have a... We have 1,398 permanent workers. We have... Poteza Muda, Nataka Kumualika, Waziri wa Trade. Please, let us now avoid repeating what has already been... And we want to support you. And, and finance, uh, I want to urge you and to remind you that discrimination is against the law. <laughs> Please look at everybody equally. I close. Aha, thank you very much. Those are the guys of my lady, my lords. Okay, so your excellency, with your permission, I'm told that the Department of Administration wanted to... How many senators do you know? Is katika hiyo ruzuku yake, manifesto, kuna hiyo mambo ya kuongeza uzalishaji wa ukulima wa county, kama chief of staff meongea na waziri. Watu wa mko qualified na anawachukua kama watu wake. As they say in Kikuyu, wotile mwana wangwa wana wada. So the governor is going to take all of you from the wapina call or the first pillar imetendeka vizuri. Tuta, kama board tuko tiari na wewe kudila wana wafanikazi wale ambao wako wanaharibu jini ya wengine tutajua na mna tuachukua. Because Thank you very much, Alan. Because of time. My name is Gibson. I'm the chief of staff. And to address us and to tell us where he wants us to go from here. Thank you. Ya kwamba sisi pamoja tunamua ya kwamba tunanzisha safari mpya ya kubadilisha hii county yetu. Tuhakikisha ya kwamba county ya kiamu kuangalia mbele ni county tofauti. Nataka ule mtu mwenye amiamini na ameamua na amesema ni kweli tunatembea safari moja uinue mkono wako Asantini sana and then we can have a national zako jioni ya leo tukiwa na shukrani ndani ya mioyo yetu kwa vile umekuwa nasi kwa vile umeshida nasi Mungu tuwasema ni ya salme mpa ili ya kaweze kupiana mashauri na muelekeo kwa hawa yote Mungu tuwasema ni ya santi Nenekea chini ya mingu yako tukikuomba ya kwamba mambo ikawa sawasawa na yale ya likuwa ya nakufa ya kainuka malatena Tunakuomba mwenyezi Mungu saidia hii county kwa jina la Yesu Christo Tunaomba ya kwamba Mungu ya kwamba ufisadi utakufa sasa kwa heshima mko umetulia hivyo tumwachilie governor tafadhali nikaenda hata kuitoka wega tutaikomodenia tutakushauka just in a minute we can leave